And what a journey uh, Javante's been on. I mean, just the guy that's uh, one of the best backs in the game. Um, obviously, he had a, a, a tough injury last year. And anytime you have an injury like that, um, you know, you have two choices, you know. And uh, he, he, he's given everything to the right choice, he just how hard he's worked. Um, he's prepared at the best level. He's a guy that loves the game. He's so smart, um, great teammate. And he was poised, ready to rock. From the very, you know, uh, from the very uh, beginning of, of training camp, and it was good to just see him back out there. What, what a great feeling that is to see your star running back, um, you know, back touching the ball, making plays, um, doing the things that he does best. Yeah, I thought we did a great job. I thought the offense aligned it a tremendous job with, with protection. Um, you know. Uh, I thought that they did a really good job of keeping the space, and I was able to step up and get the ball out of my hand quickly, get, get the ball to the right guys at the right time, and then I'll obviously scramble for some really big first downs and use my legs. I feel great, you know, um, and so uh, those guys did a great job, you know, protecting. It was good to see Mims out there make his first uh, catch too as well on a key play. And just um, there's a lot of good things, you know, feel great about it, just where we are and just all the hard work those guys have been putting in, all of us together, and it's coming together one day at a time. Uh, I just trust my reads, you know, just going through one, two, three, four, five. It's not there. Or, um, you know, if there's something there that I can, I can use my legs and, um, you know, it's, it's part of my game, obviously, um, you know, and be able to get the ball out and, you know, throw the ball down the field and all that kind of stuff. But also, um, you know, it's, it's hard for the defense. They can't account for that part of it necessarily. So um, when all of our guys are doing a tremendous job and the lines blocking the way they do, uh, it gives me a great chance to, to get some first downs and use my legs. Yeah, I think Coach Coach Payton has done a tremendous job of just bringing us all together and really, um, you know, getting us to compete at the highest level. I think also too, um, you know, for me personally, um, you know, you, you go through a, a journey, you know, and uh, you go through, you know, I, w- I want to play twenty plus years, you know. So when you go through that, there's, there's going to be some tough moments. There's going to be some highs. There's going to be some lows. A lot more highs than lows. Um, but I think knowing that. Uh, to weather storms, knowing how to, uh, you know, take everything and understand that, um, you know, gratitude and and love for this, this game, it never changes, it never wavers um, on your best days or your toughest days, knowing that the best days are ahead. And so I'm just grateful that uh, I got great people around me, you know, in, in terms of teammates, uh, the coaching staff and Coach Payton and, and the rest of the staff has done a tremendous job of, of, um, of uh, just teaching us every day. Uh, my love for the game is, uh, um, you know, it never wavers. You know, just the passion, the love for being out in between those white lines. I played a lot of football games. You know, I've been in a lot of moments, and every time I step in between those white lines, um, you know, you feel like a kid all over again. So I'm just grateful. Yeah, that's a great defense, a great team, you know, a great organization, the 49ers. They've done a lot of great things over the years. And, I mean, I've, if anybody's played them a lot, I have. Um, but, um, you know, I know how well they're coached and coach Kyle Shanahan and their team, and they got great players, um, a lot of respect, you know, on, 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 on both sides of it. And so, um, you know, I know um, I, I know what a great defense that is, and they've done a lot of great things over the years and played in the, some of the biggest games. And so to go out with our first team uh, offense and, and play well and battle and, and do the things that we we're able to do. It feels a great thing to do. And uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a good measure of, of um, where we can be and where we can go. And um, there's still a lot of more work to do, but um, I'm excited about who we are and where we're going. Two more for Russell. How's the Eric doing? Left tackle, you know, he's still getting feet wet last week, you know, coming back from the injury. Look like he's a good Yeah, Garrett Bowles is one of the best tackles in the game. He's able to, um, you know, he's so athletic. Uh, I think the thing about him, um, you know, just obviously having that severe injury last year and then to come back, you know, um, that, 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 that first time stepping back on the field, um, it's always, it's, it's always a thing that, you, you know, it's like taking that and understanding that this is a part of the process. And so he took that huge step uh, again, um, this, this week and this, uh, really over the past couple of weeks in practice and he's looking great. He's, uh, he's that big left tackle over there that you know you trust and he, he can do a lot of things over there. So, um, and, and also too, he's a great teammate. You know, Garrett's, uh, he's a guy that, 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 uh, will do anything for you. He's a guy who battles, a guy who, who wants to win at the highest level. Um, and so I'm really excited about the, the five guys we have up front. Last one. 
We can we can do both of you. How about that? Make it easy. Go ahead. Well, I think the thing that um, everybody will talk about is obviously him scoring and making plays. But uh, that doesn't just happen overnight. Um, you know, it's one of those things that you work at it every day. He's a guy that comes in early. He's, you know, uh, one of the first guys there every morning. He's a guy that sits in the front of the room. He takes notes every day. Um, he's a professional. Um, there's a certain process, you know, and um, there, there's really, you know, success leaves clues. And a lot of the hard work that um, a guy gives and he, what he what he gives to um, – you know, the process, especially as a young player, and to really learn how to be a professional. I remember when I was a rookie, you know, and just being able to have other people to look up to and watch, and just uh, his understanding of how to take care of his body, his mind, his soul, all of that, and then also, to his game. Um, man, what a blessing to have such a young, um, you know, uh, player that who can really do a lot of special things. His kick return tonight, um, like, you, like you mentioned, his runs, his catches. He, he can do it all. And so, but more, more importantly, the best thing that I, I think that I that I see is his his work habits. You know, and when it comes to practice, he takes the the, the 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 play in practice. He runs ball to the right, runs to the left, and runs to the end zone every single time. That's his mentality, and that's that's where greatness comes. Last question. So, Russell, as a former young black quarterback yourself, what do you see when you see Trey Lance on the other side of the field and the adversity he's going through? And would you have any kind of advice for him about making it in this? Well, the thing about Trey, you know, um, people have to understand that I believe he's 22 years old. Um, the guy, he got drafted at 20 years old, uh, weight in the world on his shoulders. And I think that um, the thing about it is he's a tremendous football player. He's got a lot of gifts. He's a lot of talent. And uh, it's going to it's gonna turn for his good. And um, I, I believe, um, you know, Trey is a guy that's, um, one, he's, he's, he's worked at his craft, you know, just watching him and just all the things he's done. But also, too, um, the best thing that Trey can do is ignore the noise. You know, there's only so many people in the world that get to play this position. There's only so many people in the world that get to step on a, in between the white lines on a National Football League uh, field, and and uh, he's one of them. And uh, he's a guy that's going to have a great career. Um, he's just got to keep working at it and know that um, there's going to be there's going to be some tough days. There's going to be some great days. And uh, knowing that, if anybody knows, I know, but just knowing that, like it's it's one of those things that. You, know, you just trust the process. You trust the process. You enjoy the journey, and um, and, and you have tunnel vision. You know, you, you put the blinders on. You just keep working, and there's always a breakthrough. So, um, you know, uh, I'm rooting for him. I think he's he's got a lot of talent, a lot of ability, and a lot of years left.